Hey guys and welcome to a top 6 list with Steven and today I'm going to be bringing you some fragrances which are clones of popular fragrances and are suited towards autumn. So here I have 12 clones basically because I have two for each fragrance and I'm going to run them down for you right now. So I'm going to start off with two clones of Armani Code. So first up we have Secret Passage by Creation Lamis. I've done a review of this and this is a pretty good fragrance. It has a decent longevity for about five to six hours. The bottle looks very similar to Armani Code. And you know, I kind of I've compared it to the original actually as well. And it basically kind of matches the fragrance side by side. It's a very good duplicate. As Norman would mention, I also want to say about Milton Lloyd's Bondage Temptation. This is also a really good repli rep representation of Armani Code. And it's not as good as the Creation Lamis in my eyes, but it does kind of suit the scent. With this Milton Lloyd one, they have really mad sprayers. You can basically hold the sprayer down. It kind of works as if it's like a deodorant, so you can apply a lot of that. So in a number five, I have two clones of Fahrenheit by Christian Dior. So I want to mention FM56 by Federico Mohores. I've done a review of this and it captures the scent of Fahrenheit very well. It doesn't always give me that burnt petrol vibe that Fahrenheit is kind of renowned and famous for. But similarly, like when I do wear Fahrenheit, I don't always get that kind of the burnt feeling. So I think this is quite quite good in that regard. And as an honorable mention, I'd like to mention The Man Cobalt by Milton Lloyd. Uh, also, no, I'm not actually using Milton Lloyd now for any other scents here. I could kind of use these for most of them because they have clones of pretty much every popular fragrance. But this one definitely captures that burnt vibe more than the Federico Mohores one. And to my nose, this just kind of goes very well. It's got decent longevity too. I find it lasts for like six hours. And in that six hours, people were still noticing the smell. There was definitely a good sillage coming off me. Like a co-worker of mine commented before that he could smell me. And actually he did think I was wearing Fahrenheit when I had... It was the FM56 when I was wearing that, to be honest. Right, so number four, I have two clones of A-Star Men by Thierry Mugler. We have the much we well, no, the much known Cuba Prestige. With its kind of tacky presentation here and this really flimsy, cheap thing. But I quite like the bottle looking like this, it's pretty cool. And I find this is a very good formal scent. It can be worn casually because it's quite easy going, but it's also versatile, you know, you can up class it, you can down class it, it works well for occasions. And also of note, I have a clone again by, by Creation Lamis, and this is called Diable Bleu. So this again, this smells so similar to this one that they are bloody good, they are good clones. I really enjoy wearing this. I think the second time I actually tried this, I remembered really disliking it. It just smelled really uh, sweaty and nasty, but it could be my skin because every other time I've worn that, I've enjoyed it a lot. So those are pretty good. So third up now, I want to bring to your attention Hot Blast by Creation Lamis. I've recently done a first impression of this and I've been wearing it quite often since. And this captures, oh sorry, um, yeah, this is a clone of Spice Bomb, I should have mentioned that. So this captures the essence of Spice Bomb very well, it's got that cinnamon in there. It's very kind of spicy and also a bit sweet as well. And it really does a good job of Spice Bomb. Uh, my honorable mention for this is Advin by Moment. Fellow Welsh reviewer Killer Frags has posted about this in a video of his and I saw it available for quite cheap, so I kind of went off and bought this. Also note, you know, most of these fragrances are, well, all these fragrances are under £20. Most of them will be retailing for like £20, you're looking at 12 or $13. And I'm not sure how available a lot of these will be in America, but over here in Europe and Britain, they are quite purchasable. So those are my two clones of Spice Bomb, and now moving on, I'm going to go on to a clone here of Valentino V. So this is Dorej by Rosasi. I've recently posted a review of this and I think it's a wonderful fragrance. 
it's very vanilla like sorry i mean it starts off very spicy and then it calms down into wood with like sandalwood coming through and then it goes very creamy with a lot of vanilla and tonka bean and also a bit of patchouli and musk playing in it playing in and the fragrance becomes a lot creamier then in the dry down and yeah people are saying it's a very good copy of valentino v and my honorable mention here is satin by chris adams this again is a woody fragrance it's not exactly a copy of valentino v but it does share similar notes it also shares some of the notes of Boss Bottled. This has been compared to uh, Nemo by, by Cacharel. But you know, it's kind of got the same family, the same vibe as Valentino V. And it does smell similar to the Rosassi. This, oh, come back to this. I've done the first impression of this and I wasn't really impressed. The top here is kind of broken and it only, it only cost me £3.20 from Amazon. So that was exceptionally cheap, including shipping, so I mean, that's so cheap, but the fragrance seems to last me for like an hour. I have to spray like an absolute ton of this to get any projection with it, so that's not very good. And also, you know, the, the fragrances I mentioned first here are the best ones, and the honorable mentions aren't that good, or not as good, compared to the original one. And finally now, I want to bring you to your attention a clone of Tuscan Leather by Tom Ford. So this is Arab T Tradition by Nabil and I've recently posted a first impressions video of this and I've been wearing it quite frequently since and guys this is amazing. It starts off with such a strong raspberry note and then eventually it dries down into that um, the leather note with a bit of suede in there and tobacco, tobacco? No not tobacco sorry. But yeah this, this is note for note identical to Tuscan leather. It's got very good longevity. I've put this on clothes and I can smell it like three days later. It lasts on my skin for a good 12 hours at least. And I'm blown away by this. It's been an exceptional purchase and it only costs 15 pounds. And my runner, runner up or whatever is uh, Tuscan Leather by Perfume Parlor. So Perfume Parlor, Parlor produce oils and fragrance sprays which clone a whole lot of kind of designer scents and niche scents, you know, from Zerjoff and Amouard, from like to even the private line for Christian Dior, etc. And they do oils and sprays. So yeah, I could probably use um, Perfume Parlor in this entire scent lineup if I bought the oils by them all. But that's cheating, I think. But yeah, this is more flat out lead at the start. It doesn't really develop the fruitiness. It takes a bit of time for the fruitiness to kick in. But eventually it does get there and it goes from being like just straight up leather to being something much more inviting and great. But I must say, Arab, Arab tradition is better. So thank you for watching guys and I hope this list has maybe brought some interesting clones to your attention. And any comments please ask below and subscribe to my channel for future videos and give me a thumbs up or whatnot. Thank you very much and bye.